Hello friends, it's Cindy Brumbaugh from CindyLeeBeeDesigns.com, Independent Stamping Up Demonstrator. I'm so excited to show you some new products that are coming out in our mini catalog, January through June 2021. I wish I could open it up and show you, but just looking at the big beginning of this catalog, the front cover just gets you excited, doesn't it? So many beautiful colors. It is so full of so many beautiful stamp sets and bundles and accessories and new products like the gold leafing. So we are going to be using a new stamp set bundle and then we're also going to be using um, an item from the celebration. Celebration happens from January 5th till the end of February 2021. And this is where you get a free pick out of this brochure for a $50 purchase. So we've got seven items in there for a $50 purchase, and we have two items that you can get with a $100 purchase. And one of them coordinates with the sweet strawberry bundle that's going to be in the mini catalog. So looking here, um, you can see the designer paper here, and that designer paper is gorgeous. Look at those beautiful colors in there. And that's the Paper Blooms Designer Series paper. And it has got Petal Pink and Rococo Rose, one of our in colors from last year. And it's Old Olive and Soft Sea Foam and Seaside Spray, another in color from last year, Night of Navy. And yeah, I think I've got them all. Look at all those beautiful patterns and colors in there. Now on this card, you can see that we did a little technique here, and this is called the starburst technique. And that's on the top of the card. So simple to do, but it really adds some, you know, a neat flair to your card. And then look at these gorgeous blooms here. Every single one of these flowers and leaves have a stitching on them. And that's in this bundle, the In Bloom bundle, and it has the pierced bloom dies. Now look at all these dies, plus all of these dies that I used on the card. So there are many 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 dies a beautiful die to cut out your sentiment look at this bow here and stem to build a bouquet now one thing you will notice though that none of these dies cut out these stamped images so it is just like a perfect bundle because you've got this pierced blooms full of gorgeous dies to cut out flowers and then you've got this amazing stamp set that coordinates with it so i'm so excited to do this card with you today so let's take a look here at the things um we're going to be using here i put everything in a handy dandy little um envelope here now um i am being very judicious and i am conserving and hoarding my celebration paper um so i already did some of the cutting for the card but i want to show you how we're going to make these little pennants that make the starburst here so what you're going to do is i just took a sample of a piece of the um playing with patterns that I had. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna need four pieces of a one and a half by five. So one and a half wide by five. And we're, you're gonna need four pieces of those, okay? And on this card, I had two pieces of the white flower and two pieces of this pattern. So I just put them in my trimmer and I cut them down. So what you're going to do is, okay, and on this card, I used a different pattern that's in the same in bloom designer series paper or the paper blooms designer series paper the celebration paper but um, like I said I want to show you on this piece how you're going to cut them so what you're going to do is bring out your trimmer and you have that one and a half now if you wanted to do your card in a portrait this is landscape if you were going to do it into a portrait you would maybe bring this down to one and a quarter width to make them a little thinner because you're going to be wanting to get more of the starburst going in a portrait pattern. So on this one, we though are using one and a half by five. And what you're gonna do is stack two pieces together and you can cut them at the same time. And once again, this is not what we're using on the card, it's just a sample. And all the measurements and the products um, that I use on this card are in the YouTube description right under the video. You will see in the description those um, measurements and the products. And you can also press where it says visit my blog here. Press that link. It'll take you over to my blog. You'll have additional photos and any other little special treats I want to show you or tell you about. So we're going to take this one and a half by five inch piece and we are going to. Now I'm noticing here that my trimmer is getting a little bit of fuzz in the groove here. And if you want to keep your 
blade going through with um, without fraying your paper, just take a toothbrush and just clean out because a lot of times it isn't your blade that's getting dull, it's that you've got paper caught in here. So I just cleaned that out because I noticed some of that there. So you're going to put opposite corners, so diagonal it could be this way from this one to this one or it could be this one to this one. So what we're going to do, we're going to have to pull my hand this way so you can see my little holiday nails there. So we're going to put one corner and we're going to go to the other diagonal corner. You're going to line those two corners up in the cutting groove and then hold it in place. And I did on the other cards do two layers of my paper. So you're going to then close it. Now I like to bring my blade into the paper before I cut it. I find sometimes if I pull it down into the paper on these points, it gets caught. So I just start a little bit on, off the corner and up. And even if you're not absolutely perfect, like it's a little off here, that's okay. And what you'll end up doing is you'll do that with four pieces. So you can do two at a time. You're gonna end up with four pieces that you're cutting into two and you'll have eight pieces, okay? So one and a half, by five and then just on di um, opposite corners opposite corners of the on a diagonal you're just going to slice it down and there you go and then you'll see here that i end up i ended up with now this paper was great because it coordinated very nicely these um the Rococo Rose was in both sides, but if you find another designer paper that it doesn't seem like they coordinate well, just get a, another piece of paper and then you can um, get a nice coordination there. So on this card, I changed up my colors a little bit. On this one, I saw a lot of Knight of Navy and I wanted to have some border in between my pennants. Now, a lot of times when you'll see a Starburst card, they will just butt them up against each other. Now, here was just a sample. I was playing around with some junk paper I had. And so you can just butt them right up against each other. But I really wanted to separate it a little bit, and I think it just gives it a little more pizzazz there. So what I did here is I played around with my bottom piece. I put Rococo Rose down there, that I put Navy down there, and Seaside Spray, but I found that the white really made it pop. So what we're gonna do is lay our paper on um, the white. Now we started out with a Knight of Navy piece of cardstock, and we cut it in half, and that is uh, five and a half by eight and a half, and then I just scored it at four and a quarter, and then that gave me a landscape opening from the bottom there. And so then my next layer was four inches by five and a quarter. Now this panel here that you build up, it could be any size you want it to do. Want it to be, I've seen people do a border of five and a quarter by four, and then bring in the star burst to three and a half by five, the next increment down. But I actually really liked having a lot of it showing here. So I went ahead with a bigger piece here, the five and a quarter by four. And so what we're going to do is I'm gonna show you how I put these on here. Now, once again, this doesn't have to be perfect. You could just start putting them on there and eyeballing it, but I try to be a little more precise on, on that. Now, one thing is, I think I've told you that um, I'm in the process of moving and every time, single time I start organizing, I lose something. So I cannot, for the life of me, find my silicone mat. And what's worse is I know I have four of them. Three of them are unopened, so I can't find them. So I just took a piece that my dies came in and I just wanna protect my surface here because we're gonna be um, putting a little bit of glue on there. So I'm gonna use my green glue uh, the multi-purpose glue Tombow um, mono adhesive. Now what I did is I kind of wanted to get the middle of the paper here. To, like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. So I just used a, um, one of my small grids from my uh, Stamparatus paper. And I just knew that half of, um, half of, if you, no if you notice uh, any, talking it's Jim down there watching the football game and I told him I was making a video so he did not have to be an armchair coach but he might um, be doing that so I hope he doesn't disturb us so half of five and a quarter is a little bit over two and three quarters so what I did was I just kind of 
had eyeballed it a little bit. So just a little bit past two and three quarters. So what I did is I want to put two pieces that are opposite each other. Okay, to start it out. Now, what you want to make sure on this card is that you always have paper coming off of the sides. Okay, so when you put these first two pieces down, and like I said, um, two and three quarters is half of, yeah, two and three quarters. So I'm just going to put it right about here. So I'm going to bring my paper down almost to where it's just off the paper because you'll notice whenever you start building it, um, you want to have that uh, coming off of the paper. So I'm just going to take some glue and that's really about the only um, thing you really have to be careful about. So get some glue on here. And the reason why the glue is a good um, is a good thing to use is because um, it has a little wiggle room so you can move it a little bit. Okay, so there we go. We put down our one pattern there. Now we're gonna stick on the other pattern and all these pattern, this paper, this um, is so pretty. And so you just wanna get kind of a, a line there. And then you just wanna try to keep that border the same. Now, as you can see, if you butt them right up against each other, it'd be super easy, but I just had to make it a little bit more challenging. So what you want to do is then put your next one and it's going to be the opposite pattern. Okay. Now, if you wanted to, you could have cut your paper and used all the same pattern. And because you're putting a border in between, it's going to look pretty cool. So now we're going to do this one. And like I said, the only rule you have to make sure that you're doing is making sure that your paper, now I'm just going to make sure that's nice and straight there. You just have to make sure that you don't. Now see this little piece here? You might say, oh wow, I got that perfect, but you do not want any cardstock showing. So you're gonna pull this up a bit, get your border just about the same as when you started, and see it's still showing there, so I just keep pulling it up until I'm sure that I've covered that white there. Okay, now I'm gonna go on to the next pattern here. And that's this um, nice background with the seaside spray in the navy. And I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to put my white border. And it gets a little easier when you're coming down here because of, um, there you go, because it's getting narrower. And then you're going to, I just looked in there and said, oh my gosh, I'm missing paper but I'm not, right? No. Okay, so then the last one is gonna be the flower. Okay, the little Rococo rose. I haven't used Rococo rose, I think, oh my gosh, a long time. So I'm going to make sure that I cover this corner here. Okay, so I'm sure I've got that corner there. And as I said, it would be a lot better if you had your silicone mat, but this is working pretty well for me. You know how it is. You use what you can find on your craft table. And the other night I sat and gooby gone off my wood table. <laughs> there was glue everywhere. So now what's the key? We want to make sure that we cover up the top of the cardstock there. And we just get a nice white border there and slide it over making sure, and I'll see, I see a little tiny bit of white showing there. So I wanna pull it up a little bit. And with the glue, I have a little bit of wiggle room. Ha! Ah, just about wiggled myself out of room there. Okay, make sure, because that's really the one thing you have to make sure you don't have that corner showing. Okay, then we're gonna do the next pattern, which would be our flowers. And we're gonna pop that on, get our glue. Okay. And then put that right on that edge. Just showing that, you know, just trying to get your white um, border in between about the same. And then the last one is gonna be that seaside spray pattern. Okay, and then we're gonna put that down 
covering that corner and I can see the corner is covered. So there we go, we have our, we have that starburst made. Now, as you can see on the back here, we're just gonna pull this off here. And then we just trim off. And of course, if we were using our silicone mat, it would just come very easily off of here. But since dummy me couldn't find it, I have, that has got to be my goal tomorrow. Have to get that done because this really isn't the optimum way to do it. But it doesn't really matter if you rip that paper now because it's the back of it anyhow. So I'm gonna take my, my bigger scissors and I found that these um, titanium nonstick by Westcott um, really have worked nicely for me and they are nonstick. So what we're gonna do is just trim that designer series paper off of that panel that we glued all the, the designer series paper to. And then I'm just gonna get these babies in the garbage so they're not on our work surface. And we're just trimming them down. Now, if you wanted to make this panel smaller, then you would just put it right into your trimmer and cut it down to, you know, three and a half by five if you wanna put another border around it. But like I said, I didn't want to, I wanted to use as much designer series paper showing as I could. And sometimes I have been known to just go ahead and um, put it into my trimmer as well. But right now it's, um, I might have some glue on it for the sake of making the video and I didn't want to get glue all over everywhere. So now I'm going to get this last edge cut and show you how cool that looks. Is that cool or what? There's so many things, excuse my arm there. There's so many different ways you can do the starburst. If you wanted to leave it just like that and put like a circle on here and a sentiment, you would be perfectly fine to do that. Um, you could, you know, do your starburst this way. Ooh, that's pretty, isn't it? Hmm. Am I having a creative thought here? Hmm. What would we say to that if we just played around? I put um, a seaside spray through the subtle embossing folder. What do you think, guys, if we just did the card and build it this way? And then we would have two different um, ways of doing this card. I'm just wondering. And then we build the flowers here. Hmm, anyhow, so you could do that, but I think I'm just gonna stick with my plan here. But you can see how you can, a lot of different ways you can do that. So, but I wanted to really be able to show off the, just part of the sunburst. So I went ahead and put this um, down on the bottom here. And like I said, I just ran a piece of Seaside Spray through the subtle embossing folder. On my other card, I used the Tasteful, Tasteful Textiles. And um, on this one, I'm going to just put that on the bottom there. Just see that it's lined up there. And then I'm just gonna snip off this little edge here. And after you emboss, it gets a little um, harder to cut a little bit because of the uh, fibers in the paper are cut, are, are broke down. So you might find a little fraying, so you might have to trim it a little bit closer. Okay, so there we are with what's going to go, like just right here. I just noticed here that same thing because I was cutting, get that little bit there, okay. So this is gonna be going onto the front of our car and you see that nice, rich navy coming through here. And that's why I just went ahead and did a 1 16th inch um, piece of navy there just to um, bring the navy to the navy. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and I'm gonna put that on before I put it on the front of the card. So just put a little glue on this little strip. And like I said, that's, oh no, Jim's down there talking to the TV again. And I think he might be choking on his bag of potato chips too. Jim, Jim, don't do that. Okay, so now my plan here, because my stamping room is in a loft now, is that I have a rolling table and I think I could pop it up and put it in the spare bedroom 
and I said I was going to do that, and he said, no, don't worry, I'll be quiet. I'll put my headphones on. You won't even hear me. <laughs> oh, well, you might just turn in just to see what's going on here. Okay, so now we're just going to put this on the front of the card. Isn't that pretty how that just breaks it up there? Now we're just going to use some glue here to put this panel on the front of your card. Just think of all the little strips of designer series paper you have laying around. You could just whip together a starburst card, a lickety split. Okay, so I just want to make sure that I've got the same amount of Knight of Navy showing around all four sides of my card. And there we go. Now the fun part here. We're going to decorate up the front with some of these beautiful blooms. Now, whenever I made this other card, I want to show you that um, I just went crazy and I just cut out every color that was in here. And this pattern here had some um, petal pink in it and Rococo Rose and Seaside Spray and Night of Navy and Old Olive and Soft Sea Foam. So I just cut them all out and I started playing around with them. And then I came up with um, putting the sea, um, sea foam, soft sea foam here, and I liked that the Knight of Navy really popped off the white sentiment. But you could use, you know, you could have used, you know, if you would have put um, a seaside spray there, and maybe you would have done um, a different, maybe you would have put a navy, big navy flower here. So you could play around. There are so many flowers in that set. So what I did is I pulled some out here and put it in one of our little rectangular tins. I love these little guys. So um, I decided I was going to go ahead and once again use the white for my sentiment there. And then I thought it would be pretty to use Rococo Rose as my big bloom. And then I'm going to use as my, whoop, I decided to use two other blooms here to show you. Now on this one, my petal pink, that's this one here, but there's also this cute little one here. So I was gonna use this one and this one, or was I gonna do this one? Or was I, I don't think I'm gonna do a white one. I think I'm gonna do the pink. Oh, now I'm gonna do the pink sea side and some white because I wanted my leaves to be done in the navy because the navy the leaves in all of the paper I was afraid you wouldn't see any um, petal pink because it's kind of on this pattern so we have a couple little leaves here so first things first let's stamp our sentiment here and I decided to go ahead and use the same sentiment I love the you mean so much to me how about Let's just use it again here. So I'm just gonna use my, the reason why I'm using my spots are because this has a little bit of a fine detail in the lettering and I didn't want any ink to get into the middle of that. So we're just gonna stamp that into our label. I really like this label. And I'm gonna do it a little bit off to the right side because I'm gonna cover up the left with a little bit of the, um, flowers there. Okay, so then that is going to be put onto flat onto the card. And we might as well just go ahead and use our glue again because we've got it out. But knowing when we put this down, <laughs> it's not going anywhere. So there we go. And I put it down just about halfway. And there we go. So there. And now we're going to play around with our leaves. Now I went ahead and put a navy leaf going across here. So we're just going to put a little glue on there. That's a lot of glue. There we go. A little bit of glue there. And then layer this navy leaf kind of across the label. And then we're going to put our Rococo Rose flower there and that one is also going to be layered put with some glue and we're gonna put that Rococo Rose stitched flower oh these are so pretty and there's like like I said there's so many little dyes in there oh I'm gonna get out my take your pick tool and use that putty side to pick out these cute little pieces here so I'm going to put a little bit of glue just 
right there in the middle. And I'm going to, no, I don't want to put glue on there. You know what I want to do? I'm going to take that glue away. I forgot. I raised these up with dimensionals. So I used um, my little mini dimensionals here. Don't want to lose that cap. So I took a mini dimensional, put it on the back of this Knight of Navy circle. And it even has stitching detail in this little tiny circle. So we're just going to pull that off there. My hands are already sticky. Get that glue off there. And then we're just going to put some blue in there. And then I decided I was going to what? Put, what did I decide? This one or this one? This one with this one. Hmm. Decisions. Deci I mean, it's not like I couldn't put two of the same, but I do want to put, I think, because this one doesn't have any green in it. So I think that I will, oh, I do see some petal pink there. Could I maybe put some petal pink in there? It would pull out. Um, let me see what other flowers I have here. Hmm, I kind of like the white flower, don't you? Yeah, because I think I, yeah. Let's put the white and Okay, so I'm gonna put a dimensional on the back of the white. And then I need to have that. I'm gonna put right there. Wait, I wanna cover up this little piece here. Whoop. Right there. And then we're gonna put I, th I think we see the petal pink enough in there that we can put some petal pink on the back of here. So we're gonna take another mini dimensional on the back of that petal pink stitched flower, take the back off, put that there, and then we need to put some leaves in here. So let's put, let's get a little bit of blue leaf up under this Rococo rose. Put a little blue coming out of there. And then we have this other little blue leaf. So just die cut a whole bunch of things in every color that you find in the designer paper. And then you'll just can play around with it. I think I want to cover up the fact. I actually think I'm going to should I put one more flower there? No. Okay. But you know what? The, I'm not liking this little piece that's sticking out here on the... Where's my snips? This little piece here. I'm not liking how this is sticking out here. So let's just pull that out. There we go. And I think I'm going to... Ah! I'm really making a mess now. Now this little, okay, there we go. And then I just want to, I think I'm going to put some pearls on here. So let me get my pearls out here. And we're just gonna pop some cute white pearls. Since we have white on the card, we can put a white pearl in the middle of our petal pink flower. And that's not quite the middle. Right there is the middle. And let me see, what could we put in there? Do we have a little blue? Sir, oh, we have a little blue. I don't know if that's too much, too big or not. I don't know, is that too big? No, I think I'm gonna put it in there. So let's just put a small mini dimensional on the back of this blue one and then the seaside spray, the light blue. I'll put that in the middle there. And then we've built up a really pretty little floral focal image there. Okay, so let's look at the inside here. The inside I just used the Rococo Rose Seaside and Night of Navy again. And I saw the piece of paper, here we go. So let's just get out our 
Rococo Rose, and we're going to ink up this big bloom that's in the set. Like I said, these aren't cut out with the dies, but they're really, um, ooh, I just saw that I have a lot of ink on there. Whoop. That's the best thing to do. When I see my girls at class, um, make, I always tell them, make sure you look at your block before you stamp, because you'll wonder how you got an edge. It's because you had ink on the, on the edge of the acrylic block. So I just did a Rococo Rose there, and then I went with the Knight of Navy again. And I used another little, there's so many blooms in there. So this one I chose to do right on the inside here with navy. And then there's a cute little flower in there too that I used the seaside spray. So I'm just gonna scatter a couple seaside spray flowers. There we go. One here and one here. And then there's a little tiny little thing that has like, I don't know, uh, little dots. And then I just stuck that in the middle of the seaside spray. Gave it, jazzed it up a little bit. There we go. And then the sentiment. The sentiment's a happy birthday one. We all need happy birthday card. And this one's happy birthday, you really are the best. And I decided to go ahead and still use um, navy for that. So I'm just using my spot again because it's got this little bit it, itty bitty word font there. And I love photopolymers because you can see when you're straight. Happy birthday, you really are the best. There we go. Oh, they stamp so nicely too. I'm a little, uh, no, I think I am straight. Okay, and then we're just gonna pop that onto the inside of our card. And since I do have my glue out, I'm just gonna put a little glue in the corners. You know me, I don't put it all, I don't squiggle it all over here because I am telling you, it will show up. And then you just get a nice 1 8 inch border the whole way around the inside. It's really pleasing to the eye. Okay, now I'm gonna tell you also, um, I do a lot of swaps and when I do these swaps, if I have a dark, like black, or navy, especially navy and black. You might wanna put, you know, just take a paper towel and you would, uh, you could use a piece of copy paper. I don't happen to have a piece of copy paper right here. Actually, I did, and then I used it for scratch paper. But um, just put a little piece of, sometimes I go in the bathroom and just get a little sheet of, um, one sheet of toilet paper, but it just, um, it keeps, our mail, when this goes through the mail, it, it goes <laughs> it goes through a battle going through those machines. And even though you don't have very many embellishments on here, it will press down and your recipient will get this card and it will be like rubbed navy inside on the white. So just make sure you just took a little piece of copy paper from um, your computer. Cut. A, I, sometimes I'll take about 10 sheets and cut them into four quarters and then I'll have a whole pe bunch of pieces to put in between my black cardstock bases and my navy ones. That's the ones I really find, um, you know, most of the problems with. And so you could build this up more if you want to put some more flowers here. I'm just thinking, you know, it would be really pretty to, you know, add in another. Oh, wait, I think I do. Oh, that would be pretty. No, I wanted a little. Oh, here it is. Oh, yeah, I think I'm going to put that in there. It just jumped out at me. Now, if I just can find, and I think I'm just going to do it flat. Just gonna put a little glue because I don't like the way that blue is kind of that navy flowers just kind of hang in there. So I'm just gonna pop pink on there and then put another pearl on there. Yeah, that's what we'll do. You know, sometimes you get to the end of the card and you're just like, there's just a little bit more so you can just add as much as you want to to that card you know build it up um so isn't that cute this stamp set is um but i'll tell you what this is one of those standalone die sets though i mean the stamp set is adorable i love all these blooms i love the font i like that it's congrats birthday and just a you know thinking of you 
but these dyes are amazing. Look at all these flowers we did. Plus there's these flowers. Then you've got the little singular ones. A couple more here. You've got this gorgeous bow, the stem, another leaf, um, like this navy leaf and this old olive here. So these, I'm telling you, these pierced bloom dyes, they are a standalone die set. I mean, gosh. So I'm super excited about this um, this bundle here and love this celebration paper. There's two celebration papers coming out. They are both amazing. Oh, actually three. There's also an ombre paper that's coming out. All three of them are winners on the celebration lineup. So if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to um, leave me a message. You can email me at cindyleeb at gmail.com. You can um, give me a call or a text at 724-323-2296. Give me a thumbs up on my video if you enjoyed this. I appreciate it. Thanks for buzzing by, friends.